Well, hello. I have a very special passenger in the back of my car here. The sort of passenger you hope can never escape. Let me just carefully unbuckle this important passenger. And I will be carrying this blue bag to a very special spot in the bush a long way from my home. Considering what's inside this bag, I tell you what, I'll be carrying it nice and gently. And I've got a bit of a walk to do. I have a nice special area to visit with what's in the bag. Yes, walk carefully along here. Uh, this is the time of year when the giant golden orb spiders are about. And that would be a, a nightmare spider to walk into. Just walking downhill a bit here. I'm looking for a very particular thing. You have to really be careful uh, walking out the bush in Australia. Sometimes you'll come across snakes that are just having a rest on the ground. They get angry if you step on them. But I think I found the spot that I'm after. It is still here. I'm glad my memory serves me right. It's this car wreck here. Okay, there's parts of the car there. There's the engine block there. There's the side of the car. The main body of the car is up there. And this old rusting car wreck is going to be the perfect place for what's inside my bag. Mmm, time for the reveal. Maybe you'll understand who's in here now. Get this out. Very important passenger in there. Very carefully pull this out. And I think it's pretty safe to remove the lid. It's not the sort of spider that's going to jump up and take a run for it. Now why I chose this spot here is this is the perfect sort of zone redbacks love to live. Sure, it's a little bit unnatural, but they love to get in amongst old metal things like this on the ground. And I can already see red back web activity down here, so I know the spider's going to be right at home. And I reckon if I lifted some of this metal up, I'm going to find goodness knows who underneath. I mean, that's a scary thing, isn't it? Oh my goodness me, I don't think I really want to investigate any further. What I'll do uh, for the spider is I'll make a little custom lair for it. Well, at least have a chance because you'll probably find other spiders that are not going to like the new one being introduced. Okay, that might do there. This is going to be the tricky part, uh, getting Mrs. Red back out. This spider, my son called it John Cena, even though it's a female spider and John Cena's male, or we hope he's male. Uh, this spider killed a prime mantis. Everything that came there, it had the ability to kill. I'm just going to try and carefully get this stick out. It's got blue tack at one end, and Jinx being extremely careful. Hopefully, take the whole lot across to the new area. Mrs. Spider probably isn't going to like this move, but I'll tell you what, she's going to be a lot happier in this uh, semi-natural environment. Okay. And it looks like she might be settling in nicely. She'll move the egg sacs to where she's comfortable. I know they always do. I just had a man come down and ask me, what are you doing down here? And he saw me carrying this blue bag very carefully down to a secluded bush area. He must have thought the worst. And I explained, hey, I'm moving a redback spider from my home out to the bush. I want it to live on. He said, don't you normally kill those spiders? And I said, not this one. This one's a very special one. This one deserves to live. And the man looked back at me as if I was a total, utter idiot. I thought walking in the bush with a bag like that uh, would cause suspicion. Most people are doing other things down here apart from letting go redback spiders. Let's take a look at how she's going. There she is there. Uh, she is going to absolutely love it here. I can tell you she's probably sick of me prodding her. But she can have a quiet time here. I bet you she'll move the egg sacs to somewhere more secluded. I just hope a bird doesn't come down and pick them off. That's what birds tend to do. And also with her she's got a dragonfly and she's got Mr. or Mrs. Bitey Bitey and also the uh, completely awesome giant praying mantis that she never fed from. So she's got three egg sacs there laid up already and I dare say by the size of her she's about to lay another one, most probably tonight. Yeah, she'll love it here, uh, she'll fit right in with what's going on and I'm sure she will live on for a long time because this redback spider here was basically unstoppable. Maybe the best thing for me to do is carefully move this piece of steel without hurting her. Uh, so she's got a bit more protection. Yeah, that's better. And as the sun sets on Mrs. Spider's beautiful new home, my next aim is to walk out of here without looking too suspicious. And one last wave goodbye to the most awesome redback spider we've ever seen. Uh, incredible the way it killed the praying mantis and everything else that went inside that tank. Well, as I make my escape uh, up this very secluded bush track... Oh, God! Perhaps if you don't trip over, there's rocks here. It's very hard to walk. And I've got to try and walk out of here and not look suspicious at all. 
something like this. Is that going to work? I was very curious to the fate of this redback spider, so I go back in one week's time, this time shooting with my iPhone, I think it makes a far better picture, and I get a big shock to what I find down in the bush. Uh, apart from seeing one of the largest golden orb spiders that I've ever seen in my whole life, this thing was the size of a small bird, I revisit that wrecked car down in the bush and I find the thing of spider nightmares lurking around where I released the redback spider. I can absolutely guarantee to you the redback spider that was named John Cena would be wishing it was back in my spider tank being put up against the critters that I had at fighting. Going back and visiting Mrs. Redback Spider is hopefully a great lesson in being rewarded for being curious. I was really, really pleased that I went back that next week to find out what was going on. And I'll sign off like this. Sometimes nature can deal out some very impressive sights if you're prepared to go out and look for them.